You are listening to Second Chance Ministry Radio. The Book of Proverbs. Enjoy and have a glorious day. Chapter 10 The Proverbs of Solomon A wise son brings joy to his father. A dull son is his mother's sorrow. Ill-gotten wealth is of no avail, but righteousness saves from death. The Lord will not let the righteous go hungry, but he denies the wicked what they crave. Negligent hands cause poverty, but diligent hands enrich. He who lays in stores during the summer is a capable son, but he who sleeps during the harvest is an incompetent. Blessings light upon the head of the righteous, but lawlessness covers the mouth of the wicked. The name of the righteous is invoked in blessing, but the fame of the wicked rots. He whose heart is wise accepts commands, but he whose speech is foolish comes to grief. He who lives blamelessly lives safely, but he who walks a crooked path will be found out. He who winks his eye causes sorrow. He whose speech is foolish comes to grief. The mouth of the righteous is a fountain of life, but lawlessness covers the mouth of the wicked. Hatred stirs up strife, but love covers up all faults. Wisdom is to be found on the lips of the intelligent, but a rod is ready for the back of the senseless. The wise store up knowledge. The mouth of the fool is an imminent ruin. The wealth of a rich man is his fortress. The poverty of the poor is his ruin. The labor of the righteous man makes for life. The produce of the wicked man makes for want. He who follows discipline shows the way to life, but he who ignores reproof leads astray. He who conceals hatred has lying lips, while he who speaks forth slander is a dullard. Where there is much talking, there is no lack of transgressing, but he who curbs his tongue shows sense. The tongue of a righteous man is choice silver, but the mind of the wicked is of little worth. The lips of the righteous sustain many, but fools die for lack of sense. It is the blessing of the Lord that enriches, and no toil can increase it. As mischief is sport for the dullard, so is wisdom for the man of understanding. What the wicked man plots overtakes him. What the righteous desire is granted. When the storm passes, the wicked man is gone, but the righteous is an everlasting foundation. Like vinegar to the teeth, like smoke to the eyes, is a lazy man to those who send him on a mission. The fear of the Lord prolongs life, while the years of the wicked will be shortened. The righteous can look forward to joy, but the hope of the wicked is doomed. The way of the Lord is a stronghold for the blameless, but a ruin for evildoers. The righteous will never be shaken. The wicked will not inhabit the earth. The mouth of the righteous produces wisdom, but the treacherous tongue shall be cut off. The lips of the righteous know what is pleasing, the mouth of the wicked knows duplicity. Chapter 11 False scales are an abomination to the Lord. An honest weight pleases him. When arrogance appears, disgrace follows, but wisdom is with those who are unassuming. The integrity of the upright guides them. The deviousness of the treacherous leads them to ruin. Wealth is of no avail on the day of wrath, but righteousness 
saves from death. The righteousness of the blameless man smooths his way, but the wicked man is felled by his wickedness. The righteousness of the upright saves them, but the treacherous are trapped by their malice. At death, the hopes of a wicked man are doomed, and the ambition of evil men comes to nothing. The righteous man is rescued from trouble, and the wicked man takes his place. The impious man destroys his neighbor through speech, but through their knowledge the righteous are rescued. When the righteous prosper, the city exults. When the wicked perish, there are shouts of joy. A city is built up by the blessing of the upright, but it is torn down by the speech of the wicked. He who speaks contemptuously of his fellow man is devoid of sense. A prudent man keeps his peace. A base fellow gives away secrets, but a trustworthy soul keeps a confidence. For want of strategy, an army falls, but victory comes with much planning. Harm awaits him who stands surety for another. He who spurns pledging shall be secure. A graceful woman obtains honor. Ruthless men obtain wealth. A kindly man benefits himself. A cruel man makes trouble for himself. The wicked man earns illusory wages, but he who sows righteousness has a true reward. Righteousness is a prop of life, but to pursue evil leads to death. Men of crooked mind are an abomination to the Lord, but those whose way is blameless please him. Assuredly, the evil man will not escape, but the offspring of the righteous will be safe. Like a gold ring in the snout of a pig is a beautiful woman bereft of sense. What the righteous desire can only be good. What the wicked hope for stirs wrath. One man gives generously and ends with more. Another stints on doing the right thing and incurs a loss. A generous person enjoys prosperity. He who satisfies others shall himself be sated. He who withholds grain earns the curses of the people, but blessings are on the head of the one who dispenses it. He who earnestly seeks what is good pursues what is pleasing. He who is bent on evil, upon him it shall come. He who trusts in his wealth shall fall, but the righteous shall flourish like foliage. He who makes trouble for his household shall inherit the wind. A fool is a slave to the wise-hearted. The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life. A wise man captivates people. If the righteous on earth get their deserts, how much more the wicked man and the sinner. Chapter 12 he who loves discipline loves knowledge. He who spurns reproof is a brutish man. A good man earns the favor of the Lord, a man of intrigues his condemnation. A man cannot be established in wickedness, but the root of the righteous will not be shaken loose. A capable wife is a crown for her husband, but an incompetent one is like rot in his bones. The purposes of the righteous are justice. The schemes of the wicked are deceit. The words of the wicked are a deadly ambush, but the speech of the upright saves them. Overturn the wicked, and they are gone, but the house of the righteous will endure. A man is commended according to his intelligence. A twisted mind is held up to contempt. Better to be lightly esteemed and have a servant than to put on airs and have no food. A righteous man knows the needs of his beast, but the compassion of the wicked is cruelty. He who tills his land shall have food in plenty, but he who pursues vanities is devoid of sense. 
The wicked covet the catch of evil men. The root of the righteous yields fruit. Sinful speech is a trap for the evil man, but the righteous escapes from trouble. A man gets his fill of good from the fruit of his speech. One is repaid in kind for one's deeds. The way of a fool is right in his own eyes, but the wise man accepts advice. A fool's vexation is known at once, but a clever man conceals his humiliation. He who testifies faithfully tells the truth, but a false witness, deceit. There is blunt talk like sword thrusts, but the speech of the wise is healing. Truthful speech abides forever, a lying tongue for but a moment. Deceit is in the minds of those who plot evil. For those who plan good, there is joy. No harm befalls the righteous, but the wicked have their fill of misfortune. Lying speech is an abomination to the Lord, but those who act faithfully please him. A clever man conceals what he knows, but the mind of a dullard cries out, Folly! The hand of the diligent wields authority. The negligent are held in subjection. If there is anxiety in a man's mind, let him quash it and turn it into joy with a good word. A righteous man gives his friend direction, but the way of the wicked leads astray. A negligent man never has game to roast. A diligent man has precious wealth. The road of righteousness leads to life. By way of its path, there is no death. Chapter 13 A wise son, it is through the discipline of his father. A scoffer, he never heard reproof. A man enjoys good from the fruit of his speech, but out of the throat of the treacherous comes lawlessness. He who guards his tongue preserves his life. He who opens wide his lips, it is his ruin. A lazy man craves but has nothing. The diligent shall feast on rich fare. A righteous man hates lies. The wicked man is vile and disgraceful. Righteousness protects him whose way is blameless. Wickedness subverts the sinner. One man pretends to be rich and has nothing. Another professes to be poor and has much wealth. Riches are ransom for a man's life. The poor never heard a reproof. The light of the righteous is radiant. The lamp of the wicked is extinguished. Arrogance yields nothing but strife. Wisdom belongs to those who seek advice. Wealth may dwindle to less than nothing, but he who gathers little by little increases it. Hope deferred sickens the heart, but desire realized is a tree of life. He who disdains a precept will be injured thereby. He who respects a command will be rewarded. The instruction of a wise man is a fountain of life enabling one to avoid deadly snares. Good sense wins favor. The way of treacherous men is unchanging. Every clever man acts knowledgeably, but a dullard exposes his stupidity. Harm befalls a wicked messenger. A faithful courier brings healing. Poverty and humiliation are for him who spurns discipline, but he who takes reproof to heart gets honor. Desire realized is sweet to the soul. To turn away from evil is abhorrent to the stupid. He who keeps company with the wise becomes wise, but he who consorts with dullards comes to grief. Misfortune pursues sinners, but the righteous are well rewarded. A good man has what to bequeath to his grandchildren, for the wealth of sinners is stored up for the righteous. 
The tillage of the poor yields much food, but substance is swept away for lack of moderation. He who spares the rod hates his son, but he who loves him disciplines him early. The righteous man eats to his heart's content, but the belly of the wicked is empty. Chapter 14 The wisest of women builds her house, but folly tears it down with its own hands. He who maintains his integrity fears the Lord. A man of devious ways scorns him. In the mouth of a fool is a rod of haughtiness, but the lips of the wise protect them. If there are no oxen, the crib is clean, but a rich harvest comes through the strength of the ox. An honest witness will not lie. A false witness testifies lies. A scoffer seeks wisdom in vain, but knowledge comes easily to the intelligent man. Keep your distance from a dullard, for he will not learn wise speech. It is the wisdom of a clever man to understand his course, but the stupidity of the dullard is delusion. Reparations mediate between fools, between the upright, goodwill. The heart alone knows its bitterness, and no outsider can share in its joy. The house of the wicked will be demolished, but the tent of the upright will flourish. A road may seem right to a man, but in the end it is a road to death. The heart may ache even in laughter, and joy may end in grief. An unprincipled man reaps the fruits of his ways, a good man of his deeds. A simple person believes anything, a clever man ponders his course. A wise man is diffident and shuns evil but a dullard rushes in confidently. An impatient man commits folly. A man of intrigues will be hated. Folly is the lot of the simple, but clever men glory in knowledge. Evil men are brought low before the good. So are the wicked at the gates of the righteous. A pauper is despised even by his peers, but a rich man has many friends. He who despises his fellow is wrong. He who shows pity for the lowly is happy. Surely those who plan evil go astray, while those who plan good earn steadfast love. From all toil there is some gain, but idle chatter is pure loss. The ornament of the wise is their wealth. The stupidity of dullards is stupidity. A truthful witness saves lives. He who testifies lies spreads deceit. Fear of the Lord is a stronghold, a refuge for a man's children. Fear of the Lord is a fountain of life, enabling one to avoid deadly snares. A numerous people is the glory of a king. Without a nation, a ruler is ruined. Patience results in much understanding. Impatience gets folly as its portion. A calm disposition gives bodily health. Passion is rot to the bones. He who withholds what is due to the poor affronts his maker. He who shows pity for the needy honors him. The wicked man is felled by his own evil. The righteous man finds security in his death. Wisdom rests quietly in the mind of a prudent man, but among dullards it makes itself known. Righteousness exalts a nation. Sin is a reproach to any people. The king favors a capable servant. He rages at an incompetent one. Chapter 15 A gentle response allays wrath. A harsh word provokes anger. The tongue of the wise produces much knowledge, but the mouth of dullards pours out folly. 
The eyes of the Lord are everywhere, observing the bad and the good. A healing tongue is a tree of life, but a devious one makes for a broken spirit. A fool spurns the discipline of his father, but one who heeds reproof becomes clever. In the house of the righteous there is much treasure, but in the harvest of the wicked there is trouble. The lips of the wise disseminate knowledge, not so the minds of dullards. The sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination to the Lord, but the prayer of the upright pleases him. The way of the wicked is an abomination to the Lord, but he loves him who pursues righteousness. Discipline seems bad to him who forsakes the way. He who spurns reproof will die. Sheol and Avadon lie exposed to the Lord. How much more the minds of men! The scoffer dislikes being reproved. He will not resort to the wise. A joyful heart makes a cheerful face. A sad heart makes a despondent mood. The mind of a prudent man seeks knowledge. The mouth of the dullard pursues folly. All the days of a poor man are wretched, but contentment is a feast without end. Better a little with fear of the Lord than great wealth with confusion. Better a meal of vegetables where there is love than a fattened ox where there is hate. A hot-tempered man provokes a quarrel. A patient man calms strife. The way of a lazy man is like a hedge of thorns, but the path of the upright is paved. A wise son makes his father happy. A fool of a man humiliates his mother. Folly is joy to one devoid of sense. A prudent man walks a straight path. Plans are foiled for want of counsel, but they succeed through many advisers. A ready response is a joy to a man, and how good is a word rightly timed. For an intelligent man, the path of life leads upward, in order to avoid Sheol below. The Lord will tear down the house of the proud, but he will establish the homestead of the widow. Evil thoughts are an abomination to the Lord, but pleasant words are pure. He who pursues ill-gotten gain makes trouble for his household. He who spurns gifts will live long. The heart of the righteous man rehearses his answer, but the mouth of the wicked blurts out evil things. The Lord is far from the wicked, but he hears the prayer of the righteous. What brightens the eye gladdens the heart. Good news puts fat on the bones. He whose ear heeds the discipline of life lodges among the wise. He who spurns discipline hates himself. He who heeds reproof gains understanding. The fear of the Lord is the discipline of wisdom. Humility precedes honor. Chapter 16 A man may arrange his thoughts, but what he says depends on the Lord. All the ways of a man seem right to him, but the Lord probes motives. Entrust your affairs to the Lord, and your plans will succeed. The Lord made everything for a purpose, even the wicked for an evil day. Every haughty person is an abomination to the Lord. Assuredly, he will not go unpunished. Iniquity is expiated by loyalty and faithfulness, and evil is avoided through fear of the Lord. When the Lord is pleased with a man's conduct, he may turn even his enemies into allies. Better a little with righteousness than a large income with injustice. A man may plot out his course, but it is the Lord who directs his steps. There is magic on the lips of the king. He cannot earn judgment. Honest scales and balances are the Lord's. All the weights in the bag are his work. Wicked deeds are an abomination to kings, 
For the throne is established by righteousness. Truthful speech wins the favor of kings. They love those who speak honestly. The king's wrath is a messenger of death, but a wise man can appease it. The king's smile means life. His favor is like a rain cloud in Spain. How much better to acquire wisdom than gold? To acquire understanding is preferable to silver. The highway of the upright avoids evil. He who would preserve his life watches his way. Pride goes before ruin, arrogance before failure. Better to be humble and among the lowly than to share spoils with the proud. He who is adept in a matter will attain success. Happy is he who trusts in the Lord. The wise-hearted is called discerning. One whose speech is pleasing gains wisdom. Good sense is a fountain of life to those who have it, and folly is the punishment of fools. The mind of the wise man makes his speech effective and increases the wisdom on his lips. Pleasant words are like a honeycomb, sweet to the palate and a cure for the body. A road may seem right to a man, but in the end it is a road to death. The appetite of a laborer labors for him because his hunger forces him on. A scoundrel plots evil. What is on his lips is like a scorching fire. A shifty man stirs up strife, and a querulous one alienates his friend. A lawless man misleads his friend, making him take the wrong way. He closes his eyes while meditating deception. He purses his lips while deciding upon evil. Gray hair is a crown of glory. It is attained by the way of righteousness. Better to be forbearing than mighty, to have self-control than to conquer a city. Lots are cast into the lap. The decision depends on the Lord. Chapter Seventeen. Better a dry crust with peace than a house full of feasting with strife. A capable servant will dominate an incompetent son and share the inheritance with the brothers. For silver, the crucible; for gold, the furnace. And the Lord tests the mind. An evil doer listens to mischievous talk; a liar gives ear to malicious words. He who mocks the poor affronts his maker. He who rejoices over another's misfortune will not go unpunished. Grandchildren are the crown of their elders, and the glory of children is their parents. Lofty words are not fitting for a villain, much less lying words for a great man. A bribe seems like a charm to him who uses it. He succeeds at every turn. He who seeks love overlooks faults, but he who harps on a matter alienates his friend. A rebuke works on an intelligent man more than one hundred blows on a fool. An evil man seeks only to rebel. A ruthless messenger will be sent against him. Sooner meet a bereaved she-bear than a fool with his nonsense. Evil will never depart from the house of him who repays good with evil. To start a quarrel is to open a sluice. Before a dispute flares up, drop it. To acquit the guilty and convict the innocent, both are an abomination to the Lord. What good is money in the hand of a fool to purchase wisdom when he has no mind? A friend is devoted at all times; a brother is born to share adversity. Devoid of sense is he who gives his hand to stand surety for his fellow. He who loves transgression loves strife. He who builds a high threshold invites broken bones. Man of crooked mind comes to no good. And he who speaks duplicity falls into trouble. One begets a dullard to one's own grief. The father of a villain has no joy. A joyful heart makes for good health. Despondency dries up the bones. The wicked man draws a bribe out of his bosom to pervert the course of justice. Wisdom lies before the intelligent man. The eyes of the dullard range to the ends of the earth. A stupid son is vexation for his father and a heartache for the woman who bore him. 
to punish the innocent is surely not right, or to flog the great for their uprightness. A knowledgeable man is sparing with his words. A man of understanding is reticent. Even a fool, if he keeps silent, is deemed wise, intelligent if he seals his lips. Chapter 18 He who isolates himself pursues his desires. He disdains all competence. The fool does not desire understanding, but only to air his thoughts. Comes the wicked man, comes derision, and with the rogue, contempt. The words a man speaks are deep waters, a flowing stream, a fountain of wisdom. It is not right to be partial to the guilty and subvert the innocent in judgment. The words of a fool lead to strife, his speech invites blows. The fool's speech is his ruin, his words are a trap for him. The words of a querulous man are bruising, they penetrate one's inmost parts. One who is slack in his work is a brother to a vandal. The name of the Lord is a tower of strength to which the righteous man runs and is safe. The wealth of a rich man is his fortress. In his fancy, it is a protective wall. Before ruin, a man's heart is proud. Humility goes before honor. To answer a man before hearing him out is foolish and disgraceful. A man's spirit can sustain him through illness, but low spirits, who can bear them? The mind of an intelligent man acquires knowledge. The ears of the wise seek out knowledge. A man's gift eases his way and gives him access to the great. The first to plead his case seems right till the other party examines him. The lot puts an end to strife and separates those locked in dispute. A brother offended is more formidable than a stronghold. Such strife is like the bars of a fortress. A man's belly is filled by the fruit of his mouth. He will be filled by the produce of his lips. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Those who love it will eat its fruit. He who finds a wife has found happiness and has won the favor of the Lord. The poor man speaks beseechingly. The rich man's answer is harsh. There are companions to keep one company, and there is a friend more devoted than a brother. Chapter 19 Better a poor man who lives blamelessly than one who speaks perversely and is a dullard. A person without knowledge is surely not good. He who moves hurriedly blunders. A man's folly subverts his way, and his heart rages against the Lord. Wealth makes many friends, but a poor man loses his last friend. A false witness will not go unpunished. He who testifies lies will not escape. Many court the favor of a great man, and all are the friends of a dispenser of gifts. All the brothers of a poor man despise him. How much more is he shunned by his friends? He who pursues words, they are of no avail. He who acquires wisdom is his own best friend. He preserves understanding and attains happiness. A false witness will not go unpunished. He who testifies falsely is doomed. Luxury is not fitting for a dullard, much less that a servant rule over princes. A man shows intelligence by his forbearance. It is his glory when he overlooks an offense. The rage of a king is like the roar of a lion. His favor is like dew upon the grass. A stupid son is a calamity to his father. The nagging of a wife is like the endless dripping of water. Property and riches are bequeathed by fathers, but an efficient wife comes from the Lord. Laziness induces sleep, and a negligent person will go hungry. He who has regard for his life pays regard to commandments. He who is heedless of his ways will die. 
He who is generous to the poor makes a loan to the Lord. He will repay him his due. Discipline your son while there is still hope, and do not set your heart on his destruction. A hot-tempered man incurs punishment. If you try to save him, you will only make it worse. Listen to advice and accept discipline in order that you may be wise in the end. Many designs are in a man's mind, but it is the Lord's plan that is accomplished. Greed is a reproach to a man. Better be poor than a liar. He who fears the Lord earns life. He shall abide in contentment, free from misfortune. The lazy man buries his hand in the bowl. He will not even bring it to his mouth. Beat the scoffer, and the simple will become clever. Reprove an intelligent man, and he gains knowledge. A son who causes shame and disgrace plunders his father, puts his mother to flight. My son, cease to stray from words of knowledge and receive discipline. A malicious witness scoffs at justice, and the speech of the wicked conceals mischief. Punishments are in store for scoffers, and blows for the backs of dullards. You are listening to Second Chance Ministry Radio. <laughs> 